Welcome everyone, my name is Brendan Snyder. Thank you for joining me. If you're new to my channel and you haven't already hit the subscribe button, please click the button. Also leave a comment, hit like, all those things help support my channel. And as an added bonus, you'll be able to stay up to date on all that's going on in the world of music. Just like this, we're gonna talk today about former White Lion lead vocalist Mike Tramp uh, in his new uh, solo compilation called Trampology. So this is a two disc uh, compilation and it covers his solo material since leaving White Lion. Now, during his career, he's released a total of 27 studio albums, uh, 12 of which are solo albums. And then he's even released two box sets of unreleased material. So despite only being in the spotlight for such a short time with White Lion, he's actually one of the most prolific musicians from the late 80s music scene. And while White Lion themselves were actually from New York City, uh, Mike Tramp was born in Denmark and he got his start way back in 1977 with a group called Mabel. And then he followed that up by joining a group called Studs in 1981 before relocating from Denmark then to New York City. And at that point in 1983, he meets Vito Barada and they form White Lion, of course, the band that he's known for. And they released four albums together during their heyday, starting with 1985's Fight to, Sur Sorry, Fight to Survive, which was actually only released in Japan at the time. Um, their second album, 1987's Pride, would be the one that would make the big splash and finally uh, you know, take them to the big time. The album itself was ultimately certified double platinum. You know, and this was a long overdue achievement for him as he'd been kicking around within the music industry at that point for 10 long years. So now they followed this up in 1989 with their third album, Big Game. That album itself was ultimately certified gold. And then their fourth and final album, Main Attraction, was released in 1991. Unfortunately, now with the rise of grunge music at the time, the band folded and decided to call it quits in 1991. Then in 1992, Mike Tramp followed, up, followed this up with a short-lived band, Freak of Nature, and they released two studio albums themselves. But by 1998, he decided to rebrand himself as a solo artist and released his debut solo album, Capricorn. And the album style itself was less of that big 80s sound that he was known for with White Lion and was more introspective, rootsy rock, uh, style music. And so the one thing though that it did contain that was very reminiscent of his time with White Lion were the big passioned vocals and the way that he delivered those. And since that time, he's released a total of 11 more uh, solo albums that are you know much in the similar vein. So that brings us to what I want to talk about, Trampology, the latest release from him. As I mentioned, it is currently a website only release. You can go to his his uh, website to order this. And it's a compilation covering uh, 10 different solo albums that span 22 years. And while it doesn't contain anything from two of his albums uh, that were recorded with the Rock and Roll Circus Band, uh, his last solo album, which was called Second Time Around, and there's a separate review for this on my channel if you're interested. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Uh, this album here, he actually re-recorded material from the Rock and Roll Circus time period. So that whole period of time does appear on um, the compilation as well. And so it's a two disc set, 20 tracks total, which I think is a really great place to start if you don't know his solo material. If you've only known him from White Line and you're looking for a place to start, this is a great one. But it's also got four new songs. So if you're like me and you already own all the White Lion and all his solo material, you're still getting something brand new here. The other thing is that disc one is set up as more of the uh, upbeat rock songs are included on it, while disc two itself has more of the slower rock or folk tinged songs on it. And I like the delineation because it actually allows you to pick the disc you want to want to listen to that fits the mood that you're in. So, you know, if you're wanting something that's more rock and roll and upbeat, you can listen to the first disc. But, you know, if you're looking for something a little mellower, maybe for the morning or late at night, you can listen to the second disc. Now, regarding the four new songs that are on here, disc one, track five, Ain't Done Yet, the first new song that's on here is a country-tinged rocker with a bit of twangy guitar to it that I like. 
And then uh, disc one, track 10, Take Me Away, is a straight ahead rocker that's got a really nice groove to it that just chugs along beautifully. Tra or, uh, disc two, track five, Every Time, is a heartfelt, upbeat uh, ballad that's included here. And then disc two, track 10, um, I'll Never Be Young Again. This one here is another beautiful ballad, but it's looking back this time. I think it's a really great way to end the album and tie everything up here. Let's take a look at this. This is the front cover. If you order it from his website, you'll see that he signs it there. And then you get the backside. Great shot there from when he was in White Line, and you get all the track listing. There's the spine of it. Interestingly, it just says Trampthology. doesn't say Mike Tramp anywhere on it. And then you open up another old shot there from the White Lion days. And again, another one there. He does a lot of that. There's a booklet behind here we'll look at in just a minute. And then you can see the discs with shot of uh, New York City there in it. Um, so uh, here's the booklet from it. There's the uh, 10 releases that it covers. So you get to see those. And then it's got a lot of really great um, old time shots of, of, of um, you know, his time within White Lion. So uh, there's uh, those there. And then he's got this one in here, a little poster side thing that uh, was Ross Hauflin shot from his time in White Lion. Again, New York City there. You can see the Twin Towers in the background standing by the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh, no history write-up or lyrics or anything like that in it, but it is nice to, like I said, get those old photos and things. Uh, it does include this thing. Apparently, he started a new website just simply called Trampthology, and it's got all kinds of great uh, stuff on there. You can go check things out. But the other cool thing was it came with these four postcards on it. Um, again, from his time in White Lion, and it's got uh, some, you know, uh, you know, information on the backside from what each of these are. And there you go. So, you know, get, get a little extra bonus there. That's just sent separately. I think it's done by the label because it doesn't fit within the, the disc itself, but very nice still nonetheless to get it. So bottom line on this, you know, while many of Mike Tramp's peers, you know, continue to coast on their previous successes from their previous band, I've always really respected Mike for moving forward, for never resting on his laurels. And in my opinion, he's only gotten better with age. No, he doesn't sound like White Lion, but his vocals are still just as passionate as ever and sung in that same vein. Um, in my opinion, of all the solo material that's on here, none of it sounds dated. Uh, you might say that the White Lion material has that dated sound as it fits perfectly within the 80s sound, but I don't feel that this material here does that. Um, you know, despite some of it being the 22 years old in here, I think it sounds just as fresh today as it did when it was released originally, starting way back in 1998. And, you know, hearing him uh, sing, you know, comes across like an old friend to me. It's reminiscent of that White Lion sound. And for me, it's very embracing and welcoming when I hear his voice. And I would just say, you know, do yourself a favor, welcome this friend back into your musical life and enjoy this compilation as well. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. I hope everyone has a great day and I'll talk to you all real soon. Bye-bye.